Hey guys, I want to do a review on my AR-15 here. It's a Stag Arms Model 2L. Uh, let me just say up front, I'm not a reviewer. I uh, don't claim to be one. I basically, I'll show you the rifle. I'll tell you the things I know about it. Um, give you my opinions of it. I mean, there's a lot of people out there who know probably a lot more about AR-15s than I do. So, anyways, this actually, this rifle was produced by Stag Arms. Um, they're out of New Britain, Connecticut. Uh, it's the model 2L, and L meaning left-handed. And I know some of you AR guys out there were already maybe asking the question, "Hey, man, where's the uh, where's the ejection port on that rifle at?" Well, let's take a flip, and there it is. The ejection port's actually here on the left-hand side, hence the name, left-handed AR-15. Um, this company was founded, or the president rather is a Mark Mokowski. He happens to be left-handed himself. He saw the need um, for a true left-handed AR-15. As far as I know, this is the only one on the market. Um, the Stag Arms has been producing an AR-15 since 2003. However, their parent company, uh, Centennial Machine and Tool, which was founded by his father, uh, CMT, some of y'all probably heard of them, they've been producing receivers and mil spec type parts for almost all of the AR-15 companies out there since the Vietnam War. They've been around a while and just as of 2003 they decided to start producing their own rifles. Um, the fit and finish on this rifle is excellent. I mean, it is, I've shot a lot of AR-15s, a lot of different companies including Colt, um, and it's excellent. The tight, the upper, lower receivers fit tight, no play whatsoever. Um, just some quick, let's go over the, um, some quick specs on it. As you can see, it's got a uh, six position telescoping uh, buttstock here, which is, comes in real handy. I mean, different guys are all di of different sizes, um, different lengths of pull, um, especially in my line of work where we wear body armor. You don't need quite as much. You can bring that thing in there. Um, it has a uh, ambidextrous safety as you can see here uh, the magazine release is for left-handers only it's on the left it's on the right hand side here uh, let's go ahead and get this mag out and this rifle has been safety checked by the way um, put that over here for now uh, it's uh let's see what else here okay back to this side the uh like I say ambi safety uh, Forward assist is here on the left hand side. Uh, charging handle is just pretty much a standard charging handle, nothing special about that. Um, let's see the bolt release here on the left hand side for left handers. And some of y'all might have noticed that right there. Uh, the dust cover on your standard or right handed version AR 15s, it flips down. On the left handed model here, it flips up. And I'm assuming that's because of this right here, the bolt release. It would get in the way. Um, uh, the rifle has a 16-inch barrel on it. Uh, you can see it's a M4 style uh, cut barrel. Um, a lot of people mistakenly call these rifles M4s, um, but and I've heard them actually online call them M forgeries. Where the, and there's some truth to that. This is actually this is an AR-15. It has M4 style characteristics, but the M4 is actually the rifle that's carried by our men and women overseas and um, it's a select fire weapon with a 14 and a half inch barrel so uh, unless you've got a class 3 license um, the standard 16 inches is, is what we're offered here uh, for us regular folks anyways um, but like I said this is the model uh, 2L uh, it has a flat top receiver on it they make a, um, a model that has the uh, the carry handle that we're all familiar with, it actually detaches, but I knew I'd be running just some kind of optics or red dot, so I just opted for the uh, flat top receiver. It does have the, if I can, it's kind of hard to do this with the camera rolling, let's see here. It does have the standard back, uh, iron sights, flip up iron sights here on the rear, and it has the standard uh, A2 post here on the front. So. Uh, this is a chrome line barrel. Uh, the barrel has a one and nine twist, which is 
I guess optimum. Most civilian versions have the one in nine. It's it's optimum for the uh, lighter bullets, um, up to about 62 grains, uh, function very well in the with the one in nine twist. Um, and that's generally what most of us shoot. Good old Walmart ammo, generally the 55 grain, uh, even mil spec. Um, it is chambered for 5.56 NATO, not 2.23. And uh, I don't really know. I just know the the 5.56, uh, the military surplus NATO rounds are generally have higher pressure. And this rifle is um, the receiver is forged for that. It can handle the mil spec ammo as well as the 223. Um, that's real important. You don't want to be shooting mil spec ammo out of a chamber that's chambered in 223. But um, let's see if I'm forgetting anything else. Um, I think it weighs about six, a little over six and a half pounds, maybe 6.6 .6 pounds unloaded. Um, and of course, you see I've got an optic on mine. The, uh, I opted to go with the EOTech uh, 512. A very good sight. I'm not going to try to turn it on here. I'll end up knocking over the bipod. But basically, good red dot scope. A um, little pricey, but I think it's worth the money. Um, it has a uh, 65 MOA circle with a 1 MOA dot in the center. Very good sight picture. Um, I may do another review just on the EOTech. Um, I can't say anything bad about it. It's a very good sight. It runs on AA batteries. Um, but there's a look at my my AR-15. Um, I generally run uh, P mags by Magpul. Uh, excellent magazines. I've used a lot of different type of magazines. Uh, your standard military uh, aluminum with the green follower types by different companies. Colt. Uh, I've had Tapco, Pro Mag, but I've, I haven't found a better magazine than these right here. Uh, I highly recommend the P mags. Um, they have they come in 20 round also. Um, they come with these uh, dust covers here, which not only do they keep the dirt out of your off your magazine, but they um, they provide um, they take the tension, I guess, off of the feed lips when they're in place, um, thereby saving the, extending the the life of the feed lips here. It takes the pressure off of them when that's in place. And you can see there, I've got some. Uh, I believe that's, I know that's Hornaday tap ammo. I believe it's the 60 grain they make. Uh, excellent round, by the way. I, it's kind of hard to get nowadays, but I was fortunate enough to buy quite a bit of it before the big Obama scare, so. But good round. Hornaday makes excellent ammunition. I highly recommend that as well. Um, anyways, I hope to maybe get some video actually uh, shooting this rifle soon. Um, hadn't probably fired it in three or four months, so I'm going to get out get some video, put some rounds down range. Uh, excellent rifle. I highly recommend it, especially for you left lefties out there. Um, I believe it'd be a good choice for you. They're 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 relatively they're not that expensive. Uh, I mean I think I paid nine hundred and fifty dollars for this and but um I've seen them as low as eight hundred dollars on a, a gun broker and 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 it's not, and not just for you left-handers out there. They make an ex, their standard or right-handed version rifle is excellent. I got two guys on my squad that have uh, the right-handed versions of the stags, and they're just as just as good as anything else out there on the market. There's a lot of good companies out there like Rock River, Bushmaster, um, Colt. Um, our SWAT guys carry Colts. Um, you know, I've fired, I've fired plenty of Colts, and and I can't tell any difference other than they cost a lot more money, but. Um, Anyways, very good rifle. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Now, let me just say I appreciate all the comments and questions I've been getting from you guys out there. A lot of good comments, a lot of good questions, and um, met a lot of good people. Um, so keep them coming. Um, I'll try to answer you best I can. Like I say, I'm not an expert, but I'll give you my opinion. Maybe uh, uh, from a law enforcement officer's point of view, I know some of you guys, some of the, you, my subscribers are law enforcement and guys I appreciate you my hats off to what you do I know what you do every day and I commend you for it um, but a lot of people don't understand um, the law enforcement perspective and I'll try to uh, give that to you the best I can and and maybe 
you understand why we do things we do sometimes. Uh, some people don't understand why we do what we do sometimes, but uh, anyways, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching.